Hello, I am Kim and I'm a part of the Dynamics 365 Business Central Essentials team here at Encore Business Solutions. In today's video, I will be providing an overview of account schedules. Account schedules is a financial reporting tool that provides an outlook into the financial chart of accounts that allows you to run reports for income statements, balance sheets, cash flows, and many more. Search for account schedules. We'll select the list option. The main screen of account schedules shows the definitions to the account schedules predefined or newly created. Most of the ones shown on my screen are the standard options readily available with Business Central. You can create a copy of the base account schedule and modify the lines and columns as needed. The process action allows you to navigate within account schedules and build these to your preferences. The overview allows you to view the reports before generating with live data. We'll select on balance sheet. Select overview. With this, we are currently viewing the account schedule named balance. Column layout matches the balance. As well as we're viewing by the month, you have the option to select day, week, month, quarter, year, or accounting period. Once you change these dates, the date filter will amend automatically. We'll stick with month. You can also sort with the dimensions as well. By selecting one of the options, it'll automatically filter these results based on the selections you've picked. As we scroll down, you can see that it provides a general overview of the balance sheet. Once we drill into cash, you can see the ledger entries that affect this account. Back to the process action, the account schedule. You can edit the rows and design these to represent GL accounts and account categories or calculated values or percentages. The edit column layout setup allows you to design what details are included on the columns. Column layouts can be amended for different views of account schedules. This includes net change, periods, balances, totals month over month, and more. We'll select Edit Column Layout Setup. From here, you can select the ellipses and view a full list of all of the different layouts that are currently in the system. Again, you can create a new one with selecting New. We'll look at actual verse budget. You see that different options that you have to indicate in order to build the column layouts. If we select process. An overview again, you can view the live data, but from here we can hit process and print. And it will automatically pull in the balance sheet and we want the ending date. I want to run this for April, so we'll preview this report. And this is how the balance sheet looks. Alternatively, you can choose to send this to a Word document or an Excel document, or schedule these reports to run on a monthly basis. This makes it easier to manage all of your reports and amend as needed on a monthly basis. Sent this to PDF and there's that version as well. This concludes an overview of account schedules in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.